Hi guys, just Charlie here again from Sterling, just to show you the reverse charging feature on the BB1240. Now these models are due out end of June, maybe more likely July 2022, something like that, so not too far away. Uh, so I've just got this in normal charging operation, so it's trying to push 14.4 volts onto the output. Um, so charging station status, as you can see here, is flashing which is in its first stage of charge, so it's trying to uh, get up to 14.4, I think it is on the output here. And I've got it hooked up via a ignition signal, which goes into the second connector in just there. So if I take that off, the BB should stop charging, and that LED turns off. So, now what I'm going to do is show you what the leisure battery voltage is, which is 13.6 volts. If I then turn on, let's say, for argument's sake, solar panel, solar power, or wind or something onto my leisure battery, so my voltage is now creeping up um, up to 14 volts, so I've got a, an alternative style battery charge device onto my uh, leisure battery. Voltage creeps up. My start battery, I've just put a little load on it to bring it down, just to exaggerate for effect, as it were. So my start battery is pretty unhealthy, it's at 11.8 volts, but my leisure battery on the other hand is up at 14 volts, so there's lots of surplus there. Normally there's about a two minute timer before turning the uh, battery to battery charger off in one direction for it to activate to go into the reverse charging direction. So I'm going to pause the video and resume it in probably about 60 seconds time because that's when it will be uh, kicked in. Okay, so I've just taking the video off pause. That's just, the load. Let's turn them off. That's just me turning off a load that I've got on the start battery. So what have we got at the start battery? 12.36 at the moment. So let's wait for this thing to kick back in. Should be fairly imminent. That's the leisure battery voltage. That's the start battery voltage. There we go. So it's just kicked in now. Reverse charging LED is on. That's the leisure battery voltage and then the starter battery voltage should push up to about 13.4 volts. And it ought to hold it there. It won't go any higher for multiple reasons. Uh, primarily it doesn't need to because it's just a float voltage just to keep the start battery topped up. If it was to go too high the battery to battery charger wouldn't know when your alternator has turned on versus the unit just feeding back to the start. So we've just decided to compromise at that. 13.4 uh, uh, volts uh, would be absolutely fine. Um, and that's what's going on at the leisure battery. And then I'll show you what happens if you put a load on the leisure battery to bring the leisure battery down so the unit isn't taking energy from your leisure battery to keep your starter battery topped up. So at the moment it's still in reverse charge, leisure battery is healthy up at 14 volts, uh, starter battery is at 13.3. If I turn an inverter load on now, and that's connected to a 2 kilowatt fan heater, that voltage should just collapse at the leisure battery. So that's me measuring and then the reverse charge LED has turned off. So starter battery uh, is starting to drop off now because um, the battery to battery charge has disabled the reverse charging function. So, so we're down to 12.8 volts at the leisure battery now. If I then turn the load off at the leisure battery, what happens to the voltage? 13.3. So if I turn a battery charger back on to the leisure battery, the reverse charging LED comes straight back on and we're back up to 13.3, 13.4 volts, it'll hopefully get to. Now, one of the beauties with the ignition-fed capability of the battery-to-battery -battery charger, because this is essentially connected to your ignition, I'm just going to mimic it by giving it an independent 12 volts. So I've just given it 12 volts now, so the reverse charging LED should turn off straight away, which it's done, and it's reversed the situation to be charging up the leisure battery again now. So it's charging in the opposite direction, trying to put 14.4 volts onto the leisure battery, which is what it's trying to do. The reason for the quite slow change in voltages here is because I'm charging a 200 amp hour lithium battery. So um, it's why you don't see huge dramatic changes in voltages uh, because uh, the battery is very healthy, very low resistance, and it's 200 amp hour. So.
All right. So charging state is still on there. 